sir. Boxingvoice.com live here with Troy Isley. What's going on, champ? Nothing chilling, chilling, man. Just in the gym. Got 10 good rounds of sparring in, getting ready to go for November 16th. You seem locked in, man. What is it about this particular fight that has you more focused, or am I reading that wrong? No, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm always focused. I don't never take any opponents lightly, but I mean, you know, Vladimir is a, uh, he's a, he's a, he's a tough veteran. He's been in there with some, some good guys. He's been in there with some world champs. He's been in there with Ramos. He's been in there with J-Rock. So he's been in there with some people. So, you know, I got, I got to come with my A game and I got to come, I got to come ready. So, you know, I'm, I ain't taking no shortcuts. Did you know about this fight before you got the call? Was it something that was being floated around or you just found out when the phone rang? I kind of found out when the phone rang, but at the same time, I had plenty of time. So I found out early enough to where I was like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm in the gym before I start training camp. So I found out probably late August, early September. So I've been in the gym for a while. I, I've been in the gym even before I even found that out. I'm assuming you've seen his fight with Truck, Vladimir Hernandez versus Truck, happened yeah. not too long ago. Yeah. What was your thoughts on that performance? I feel like Truck did really well in the yeah. first two rounds. I felt like Truck did really well. I felt like Truck uh, should have just kept boxing him. I felt like Truck, uh, after the third round, I mean, in the third round, he started standing there and banging with him. That's a little bit of Vladimir's fight, and it was kind of too early. So, uh, you know, I got a game plan for him. I'm not going to say it on here, but, you know what I'm saying? We got the right game plan, and we're going to execute it. There's obviously a lot of footage um, on him. He fought Alfredo Angulo, upset yeah. Angulo, upset J-Rock Julian Williams, and then just upset Truck. So there's plenty of footage to watch. Are you the type to watch film, or of you course. let your trainers handle that? I watch film all the time. I watch it all the time. I like to know what I'm dealing yeah. with. I watch, I watch multiple fights, so uh, I watch him. You know, I want, I want to see what he do against different styles. I want to see what he do when he confident. I want to see what make him uncomfortable, so... I watched, I watched multiple fights. I watched this fight with Ramos, I watched this fight with J-Rock, and I watched this fight with Truck. I honestly felt like J-Rock boxed him the best. He just got tired. Um, have you been running more miles for this fight? Or is it wood. because... Oh, so you have been running... I ain't gonna say you've been running more miles, but I've been, I've been running, but I've also... This is a lot, a lot of leg strength, because your legs gotta be strong with Vladimir, yeah. just in case, we, you know what I'm saying, we gotta do something, but... I just sure. feel like yeah. I've seen you, especially today, you you haven't been, like you weren't tired, you weren't breathing heavy, you were so calm. The composure, I yeah. feel like, is what, you know, wins fights because you don't overexert yourself. So I just wanted to know, was it a combination of, you know, just getting in camp early or was it putting in those mouths or is it just... A little bit of both. You already comfortable sparring so much. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. I'm, I'm, I am comfortable sparring. You know, I got my timing already. But you know, also, you know, I've been working on, you know, boxing and. Uh, also, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I feel better and mentally, physically, I just feel better. I'm more confident and. Why do you think you feel better? Um, you know, um. Uh, why do I think I feel better? I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's just, I just feel better, honestly. Did you notice that Crawford was on the outside watching you spar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen Crawford. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was telling me he's like, man, Troy got cat-like reflexes. Have you guys sparred? Yeah, yeah, before, okay. yeah, yeah, in the, in the past. In the so past. you think he was telling me that from something past or from what he was seeing today? Maybe a little bit of both, a little bit of both from the past, but at the same time, like uh, he probably seen me today do do some counters and stuff like that. Now, you had your hands down a lot. You didn't get caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I feel yeah. like that's become your thing. You like yeah. to have, you know, kind of, I, I mean, the only thing I could associate it yeah. with is like Sergio Martinez where he keeps one hand on yeah. near, exactly, yeah. near each leg. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel, I feel, I feel looser, but I don't know. I don't know. It's the thing I do to loosen up a little bit when I feel a little too stiff, you know what I'm saying? I loosen up a little bit. Stuff like that, or sometimes, you know what I'm saying, it give, give me an opening. So they get confident. They're like Turner said, I got a cat light reflex, and so, you know what I'm saying, they get an opening and I can easily counter. So sometimes it's a setup, but uh, most of the time it's just me, you know, trying to, trying to loosen up. So i seen a new trainer in your corner. Is that, uh, how new is that? How many fights he's been with you? So Ron, Ron, he ain't been with me no pro fights yet, but I mean Ron, he worked my he worked my fight with Devin Haney, he worked my fight at the Golden Gloves. So Ron, he was in uh, Alexandria from 2011 to 2016, and then he went to India and worked the Indian national team. But before that, um, he was on the Team USA from like. 
from even he 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 did three trials, so he he was in the eighty eight trials, ninety two and ninety six Olympic team trials, and then um, he was on he was like a coach from after that all the way to like oh eight, and then um, he came to uh, he he been he been working with me for a while. So I mean, I, me and Ron got we got big chemistry. He's nothing new, and then you know, Bo Mac, um, you know, Red Saul. I, I worked camps with them before, so it's nothing new. It ain't it ain't like I gotta get a new feel out for them, you know what I'm saying? We already had chemistry, so we always around each other, so it's, it's nothing new. And then, you know, Ron, he been working on, you know, helping me punch different. I don't know if you can see that a little different, you know what I'm saying? We working on my punches and stuff like that. I can definitely see the yeah. chemistry. I feel yeah. like when he was asking for something, you was doing it, and it was effective. So yeah. he knows what he's seeing from the yeah. outside. I also seen you working with uh, Red Spikes. Yeah. Um, but it was like slow down power. I didn't yeah. want to go over there and be nosy, yeah. but what was the agenda behind that particular just just session. fixing little stuff, just working on stuff, doing stuff that you know what I'm saying we could have did better in sparring. That's all. You know what I'm saying? He could have did this better. He could have did this better. That's all. That's all. For real, for real. And the stuff we gonna need to do in the fight. Uh, you you gonna need to do this in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Your opponent gonna do this. So you know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You gotta do that. So. Yeah. So are you excited that this card is here in Vegas for this new F1 weekend, or yeah. does none of that matter? You just want to get this guy out of there? I'm excited, bro. I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big fight coming up, and you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to show, you know what I'm saying, who I really am. For sure. Well, Troy, man, give out your social media. If anybody isn't following, we thank you for the opportunity. Uh, Twitter. Twitter, Go Transformer. Um, I won't be on Twitter like that, but... Uh, Instagram, Mega Troy one Facebook, Troy Osmond. Appreciate you. Family, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.